welcome to another video. As you might have seen in last video with the BX, we didn't really make it home after our mini trip because the BX broke down. Shame. Thankfully, we were already close. Basically, the engine overheated after a hill in which I really booted it, and as luck would have it, the radio was off. Because of that, as soon as I started hearing a hissing sound, I immediately got out of the motorway. Coolant was spraying all over, but thankfully, uh, there was still some in the engine. That's also a very high idle. It seems we are cutting wood. Let's... Kill it. Also takes a while to finally cut off. There's no pressure here, which is always a good thing. But this is not in very good shape. Guess I'll have to replace it. And I'll also have to replace the thermostat. This is a very simple job, I actually removed the hose that connects to the thermostat housing but I really didn't need to, I could remove it uh, all in one go. Uh, and the thermostat housing is basically held in place with two bolts, which were not too difficult to undo. Thirty-seven years of gunk, I suppose. Some persuasion was needed. I can't believe this. This is the original thermostat. Time to get cleaning, and then to install the new thermostat in the housing, and then get cleaning again. Hooray! Oh, and I almost forgot this. Yes, the thermostat was stuck closed. A ticking time bomb. And here's a new one made in France. Ça va le faire. It's still looking rubbish, but it's a flat surface, so that's good enough.
not replaced his vacuum hose right away. I also want to make sure that the radiator isn't blocked in any way and while I'm at that, I can also make it look a little less rusty. It's just a matter of removing the hoses, uh, the plugs for the temperature sensor and for the fan, and also the panel at the top that helps holding it in place. That looks disgusting. This car will probably need a new radiator in the near future, so I really just wanted to make it look less terrible. I think you've managed to do that. It's sitting properly and everything's been already connected, so let's get some coolant in. That was a bit too fast, which made my life harder when bleeding the system. The heater is set to hot, I'm leaving it to run uh, without the cap on and I'm pushing the hoses. This should help with getting rid of air in the system. There are also these two bleeding screws and as you can see there's still a lot of air in this system.
at some point. I'm not sure I really knew what I was doing, but we eventually got uh, all the air out of the system. As you can hear, the fan is just kicked in and we don't see a pool of coolant, which is good news. I guess we can consider that sorted. There's just one bit missing. All done. I knew from the beginning that I would be selling this car at some point and getting it ready for the next owner wasn't really an issue. It passed its MOT with no advisors. Since we are at the end, let me just share with you this clip from when I bought it. I could swim. And the spheres were completely knackered. It seems my girlfriend was also having some issues with the clutch bite. <laughs> it seems the new owner is going to treat this to a complete restoration, and I'm happy to hear it. I'm a bit sad that I don't have it anymore, but maybe I'll buy another one in the future. Maybe this time a 16 TRS? Who knows? Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!